Now, ladies and gentlemen, earlier this week we had yet again another CS2 update. Then two days leading up until now, we had more. Most of this was just bug fixes and things we didn't notice that weren't included in the blog post, which is what I like to call somewhat of a shadow update. Now, these things were actually pretty important, such as a winter cobblestone possibly getting added to CS2, an ELO tracker and an ELO system, and a whole lot more. Then late last night, Valve did a complete 180 and added all the maps that we've previously had in the CS2 limited test build to CS2's current matchmaking. Now, we're not just having the maps they're currently working on, are just most recently added, no, it's everything. They also added more textures and models and updates for hostages. And it feels like right now we're the closest to CS2's release and what a full game would actually look like than any time previously. And if that's not enough information, nor proof CS2 is probably pretty ready, at least the most it's been yet, CSGO's news category is currently no longer available in-game. It seems to be CSGO is slowly depleting after every CS2 update. No effort, no update, nothing new is getting added to there, just for the CS devs, new pride and joy that being Counter-Strike 2. Today's video I want to recap the last couple of updates, what you've missed and what this means for release. From shadow updates, things from the official devs, and what's to come. Now today's video sponsor is SkinSwap. SkinSwap is a trading slash buying but most importantly selling marketplace for your CSGO and Rust items. They have a trading feature with great rates, a variety of different skins. You can also sell your skins for straight cash with multiple different cash hood options of your choice. And when trading, any extra cash left over goes directly to your current balance. SkinSwap is one of the best in its field and gives you an edge of over other competition. If you deposit with the link in the description, you get a free case to open with the shot at winning 150 bucks. If interested, it'll be the top of the link in the description below. Now, firstly, for today's video, I want to talk about something that just came in as it goes for news. Now, this tweet's from Aquarius, and with help of ALCS and Pogu, we were able to visually represent how a new feature called Stakes is going to look in Premiere Mode. If you guys remember a couple weeks ago, we saw what Premiere Mode was going to look like. It was pretty much a face it ESCA type of thing inside the game itself, which would give people and new players a path to pro. At the start of your match, you'll be able to see what's going to happen in your CS rating. Basically, what that means is your ELO, based on the outcome of the match, which is pretty crazy. This is something we've been asking for inside Counter-Strike for what seems to be five or six years. Now, as much as I am excited, it's something we should have seen in CSGO, but I don't really have too hard a feeling since they were working on CS2 pretty much the whole time. At least that's when we were wanting it. And a lot of people are saying rip face it, rip BSCA, but I'm sure there's going to be a lot of things with CS2 when it first releases, and maybe even a few months in, that people are not going to like and it's going to want to make them go back to face it. If that's the matchmaking, the tick rate, the anti-cheat, something completely different, we don't know. If everything goes as well as this seems to be, CSGO matchmaking could truly be on the top. But that's a big what if for now, as we don't have a lot of proof that will work. As it goes for official updates that you can check out for yourself, hostage models have now been updated. Some of those people have actual grippers on their feet. Those people also have new sounds and voice lines. Italy was just added, which this, if you guys don't know, has a lot of the same textures and some files that are also in Inferno, especially for this newer version. They look very similar. Similar. So I would expect that in the next upcoming updates. A winter version of Cobblestone was leaked, and for those who've been around the past year, maybe are new to the scene, a little over a year ago, we saw an update inside CSGO that was kind of telling us about CS2, which at the time we just knew it was Source 2. Cobblestone along with a scoreboard, somewhat of an ELO system was leaked, and I think this could possibly be towards this. So I think we could see probably Cobblestone sometime during release, or maybe some sort of Christmas or Operation update. There's new loading screens for T and CT, which look absolutely amazing. And I think they're going to have this for pretty much every single map. Late last night with the shadow update, we also saw something new that was changed. I'm not sure if this was done purposely or by accident, but there's now a change to bullet penetration specifically with the op. According to Thor CS, your op cannot kill more than two enemies now with a clat to the head. And it goes for the chest, it's just not possible. Now I want to discuss updates that are long overdue that we should have gotten in CS2 a very long time ago, or just Counter-Strike in general. The Paris sale removal. This should have been deleted, I would say, a couple weeks ago, the very beginning of August is when the CS devs put that on their website. As we know from the past three or four, that's usually always wrong, and this time's no different. I think this is probably going to stay out until CS2 comes out or we get some sort of new case. And that kind of goes in the next update that we haven't seen in a while, is a case release. It's been over 190 days since the Revolution case came out, and we are in need, I would say desperately, of a new one. Now, like we discussed at the beginning, we're not sure if this is a bug or if it's here to stay. News slash more proof you can see for yourself is the news tab in CSGO has been completely removed, or at least currently removed, maybe bugged out but we don't know any reason why this happened. To me, it just seems like CSGO is just fading away and it's just becoming something that we've had in the past and CS2 is here to stay. Now I want to discuss the release because this is getting pretty interesting here. The CS devs are ramping up the updates. If you guys remember just a few months ago when CS2 was first announced, we had Dust2, no one could access the game. Just a couple weeks later, everyone stopped playing, the matchmaking servers went offline, and then a month later, magically everything appeared back to normal. Then we had Mirage that lasted a month, and then the maps following, well, they just became 
became shorter and shorter in between the times of release, and this is no difference right now. Pretty much every day this past week we've had a shadow or official update from Valve. An August release is still on the table, but I think it's probably not the most likely, at least at this point, as we still need a couple more maps, such as Train, Inferno, and if they're going to add cash, then cash itself. Now, a very possible option that I think can happen right now is if CS2's matchmaking system goes good for the limited test with all the maps added, people are playing, people are enjoying it, there's not a whole lot of game breaking bugs, Valve may add more people, like a lot more than we've seen this past couple of updates when they've had access passes handed out to people, they could have an open beta for everybody, but only if you sign up to play or some random BS like that. Because as much as I want a full release right now, I still think we're a few updates away, with all the bug fixes, patches, new maps, and features we need. This ELO tracker hasn't even officially been added to the game, at least where we can see it in game. And we also have the rest of the maps and some basic needs for microtransactions. That was a whole lot of news and updates in one short video. I gotta say, with this most recent update with just Italy being added, but all the things that people haven't really been able to see, such as these shadow updates, it's by far the most information in the shortest amount of time that I think we've possibly seen yet. Maybe not the most information, but the most interesting and game changing. Let's not forget, just a few days ago, they also introduced a brand new system for winning a game. Now it goes up to 13 instead of 16. And they also removed the ability to queue with a four man so you can't kick the random person you play with, which is pretty crazy. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay positively sexy. I'm out, guys. Peace.